Welcome and thank you for tuning in to the West Windsor Church Update. Uh, today is Thursday, May 7, and we are going to be starting to talk about this coming Sunday, May 10th. I want those of you to know who are able to look at this update, we have received a number of commitments from a number of people in our church, and so uh, we will have an informal service I'm not sure if we will uh, do any music or not uh, with a praise team or a few people, but uh, we will have a small service. And then the next week on May 17, if things go according to our plan, uh, we will have a belated Mother's Day service on the 17th. And so keep all of that in mind. And notice I am using the word if. Uh, it does appear as though we're going in this direction, but in these very uncertain COVID-19 times, uh, I don't want to act like uh, anything is for sure. Okay, we will continue to broadcast uh, live this coming Sunday, but as I am about to record my sermon right after this update is done, uh, we will also upload the sermon and it will start as it has been over the weeks on Saturday at 6 p.m. And then uh, we will try and do an, uh, a live broadcast on YouTube. And I am working with uh, our Facebook admin person. And one of these uh, Sundays we will be able to have it live on Facebook as well. Okay, and we are sending out links so uh, on your text or in an email, we can send you a link. You can click on that, and that will get you to the YouTube or the Facebook Live. Uh, this coming Sunday and then the next Sunday, we, we are going to be practicing social distancing. So we want to ask everyone not to hug. Uh, it will be hard because we love each other so much. It's one of our church's great, great strengths, but we will refrain from that because we have, to, we have to get a lot further along before we understand the dynamics of uh, COVID-19. So remember, no hugging this coming Sunday and uh, also on the 17th, which will be our, our main one. Uh, I want to encourage all of you who are doing some group texting, uh, I want to say thank you. We've had a lot of texting that has happened, and it's been very good, very helpful. Um, I'm finding out a lot about everybody and what's going on. So keep up that uh, good communication work. Uh, keep on, on talking to others and um, keep the ball rolling. I think uh, everything is going pretty, pretty well. And uh, continue to pray for um, our governor, for President Trump, and all involved. Join me in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we come before you and we pray about this coming Sunday. And Lord, we ask that uh, as the doors look like they will be open, that you will give us a, a great reunion and that all will be encouraged and that this Sunday and the next Sunday we can uh, celebrate the wonder of Mother's Day and all that accompanies it. And Lord, we pray for a number of people in our church who need your healing hand. We thank you that Brian appears to be uh, out of the hospital now. Uh, we pray for um, the Nicely family, and uh, we pray for continued health for all of them. And Lord, we also pray for all of those who are listed in our bulletin. And uh, we ask, Lord, that you have your healing hand on them. We pray for all the unspoken requests, Lord, as people are watching right now, whatever their request is, Lord, that is heavy on their heart or in their mind, uh, we pray about that and ask that you intervene and touch that situation as only you can. And we thank you ahead of time for the results. We, we do ask, Lord, that you um, bless what's going on in the state of Michigan, help all of it to keep our numbers down, and we pray the same, Lord, for the federal government and uh, all that is involved. 
have your hand on our government. Uh, bless us as we continue to say, in God we trust in all these ways. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And I want to say again, thank you for tuning in to this pastoral update.